Panama has not been spared the influx of invasive species, which are weakening some of the world's richest ecosystems. These ecosystems are home to nearly 50% of the world's amphibian species. Frogs occupy one of the most important niches in the food chain. They consume large amounts of harmful insects and serve as food themselves for many species of reptiles, birds, and fish. In the field of medicine, they have also led to the development of antibiotics and are important in cancer research. Over the past 250 million years, they have withstood many catastrophes affecting life on Earth. But today, frogs are in trouble. A mysterious disease is attacking them where their numbers are highest. To make matters worse, these frogs are also weakened by insecticides and habitat loss. In just a few years, over 100 species have gone extinct. A few years ago, biologist Edgardo Griffith used to come to this river to study frogs. I used to find 56 species of frogs around this stream alone. And now, can't even, can't hear anything. Really, you know. The cause of this sharp decline? An invasive species. A mysterious fungus called chytrid has invaded the rivers of Panama's mountains. The fungus arrived in 2005, killed 90% of the amphibian community, and in some cases, 100% of the individuals of certain species came kill, stay, and at the same time, it's moving eastward, but it's also coming up from South America. Found in Mexico as early as 1972, the disease spread to Central America. Other infection sites have been found all over the world. Today, over a third of the world's 6,000 known amphibian species are threatened with extinction. To me, I used to be a field biologist. Uh, now I think I'm like an extinction biologist. For scientists, time is running out. Edgardo and his colleagues are trying to capture living frogs in the hopes of learning more about the disease. They organize regular searches in Panama's rivers. Chytrid is spreading at a rate of over 30 kilometers per year. Scientists are trying to understand how it spreads from region to region. When a species nears extinction in nature, scientists often have no other choice but to remove the few survivors from the wild. This one might be one of the species that we need to focus more mm -hmm. into it and see why is they survive, so you know. The last remaining individuals of many frog species are today conserved in sterilized containers, isolated from the outside world, where the dangerous fungus threatens their survival. Like Noah's arcs, these containers are only a fragile and temporary means to preserve the genetic heritage of dozens of amphibian species. But this is the best that scientists can do. Some of them are not dealing with chytrid yet in their populations, but we know it's gonna get there sooner or later. So we're trying to rescue as many as we can, try to breed them, try to keep them healthy. This might be the last one, so. It's a huge responsibility. Yeah. In the name of all the frogs dying on the jungle floor, the search continues. Long considered among the most ideal frog habitats, 
Panama's forests are now a real threat to their survival. Thank you.